Good evening YouTube, it's Hannah from Swagish here and I am doing a tag video today. First I want to say, I'm sorry I probably look very shiny but I'm currently not able to powder my face because I got this baby today. I got my second nostril re-pierced which I am incredibly happy about because it came out when I blew my nose like a month ago um, and I went into the local place to go and see if they could put it back in but it already started to close up so I had to wait to go and get it pierced and um, I went to Nevermore Tattoo and Piercing in Sterling like city centre um, it's amazing and they have a get what you get machine that I might be going to and I may have inquired about a cheeky little Disney tarot tattoo that I don't know how I'm gonna afford but tattoos okay disney tarot okay okay yeah so i was a brave girl and um i got this repierced and i swear like that's the fifth time i've had to get a nose like a nostril piercing because so i had this done you'll remember quite low down uh, i got that done when i was 14 and i was made to take it out for pe and it closed up so I had to go and get that re-pierced and then tape over it for PE and that sucked and then obviously I got it re-pierced higher up so I could get my double nostrils so yeah um if anything happens to them now that's it I'm not doing it again because nose piercings hurt like anyway but re-piercing through scar tissue oh no I'm not doing that again so yeah although he's put like um I don't know if you can see but he's put like a proper i don't want to like touch it too much but like a proper screw librette style stud so i might go back and see if he can put like swap this one for it so like try and keep it a bit more secure so yeah that's just a quick intro um it's not what the the actual video is about at all so i should probably get on with the actual video i'm going to be doing a horror movies tag which was kind of invented started by the beautiful moose ham sophie um and yeah so if you want to see me talk about my horror movies and like my horror movie preferences then please do keep watching before you do hit that subscribe button hit that like button the little thumbs up and leave me a comment let me know what your favorite horror films are and things like that so yes without further ado this is my horror movie tag that sophie uh asked me to do it because she thinks that my uh, answers to the questions will be interesting. Yeah, I, I think they probably will be. So the first question is the first horror movie you watched. Um, I'm not actually sure, but I think, I think it would probably be the Hammer Horror Dracula. So the first one. Is it Taste the Blood of Dracula? It's either Taste the Blood of Dracula or The Horror of Dracula. Whichever was the first one, um, which I've shown you all before, but that's why I have this little cushion. It's either that one or it was the 1931 Universal Horrors Dracula, but I'm pretty sure it was that one. Um, yeah, so that was the first one. Um, I know that one of the first I saw as well, like apart from Universal Monsters, like the first modern horror film I saw, would have been The Mummy from 1999. I know lots of people don't actually count that as a horror film, but I do because it is a horror film in parts. It's just, you know, a horror adventure sort of film. So yeah, that was the first horror movie I think I watched. Number two, what's the movie that made you fall in love with the horror genre? Dracula. Dracula, basically. Any, any kind of Dracula. Um, basically hammer horror and universal monster films they made me fall in love with the genre so yeah uh question three favorite horror subgenre and sophie suggested like slasher psychological thriller splatter torture fan footage supernatural etc um i don't actually know because a lot of like a lot of my favorite horror films are like in various genres so I don't know what my favourite, like, single genre would be. Um, I guess classic horror, um, if you count that as a genre. But I, I, I like, like, horror comedies, like Trick or Treat, Krampus, you know, um, Evil Dead 2 and Evil Dead Army of Darkness. Like, those kind of films, I really like those. I like a good ghost and haunting film, as long as it is, like, 
actual ghosts and hauntings not like oh it's a demon but it's really we're gonna make you think it's a ghost like i like ghost and haunting films um yeah but i think like classic horror films vampire films i love a vampire film um and i used i used to love zombie films like i used to be a huge zombie film fan like one of my treasured possessions when i went to uni the first time was my romero box set um i think it's like box set of the dead or collection of the dead or something um so yeah but i think currently classic horror vampires and or like horror comedy uh question four horror movie that scared you so much you couldn't sleep right so i've i haven't actually seen this film like from start to end but i remember when i was younger like when i was i must have been like about 10 or less like i think you know um uh, yeah definitely younger than 10 um and i was watching like a top scariest moments in horror tv show yeah i know don't um and they had oh god even just thinking about it and talking about it i'm actually like my anxiety level is rising but they had they showed a particular scene from rosemary's baby now i'm sure if you've seen rosemary's baby you know which scene they're probably talking about but i literally could not sleep for days like gibbering wreck nightmares could not sleep for days and i still get nightmares and i still like again like, talking about it and thinking about it is making me feel really like anxious so yeah that one um which horror movies do you think are overrated well in all honesty like quite a few so apologies if i've kind of like changed position or anything but i had to go and rescue my friend so i think i was talking about which horror movies do I think are overrated? Um, I can't remember where I got to, but like, I don't like like torture porn and stuff like that. Um, I I don't I don't find them entertaining. I don't think they're great. Also, don't at me, but I I thought Alien as a horror film was overrated. Like, I love it, I thought it was a great film, but it wasn't a horror film and it wasn't everything that everyone said it was gonna be. Um, like, all the Annabelle type the films are just... <sighs> Ugh, boring. Like, I love The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2, I thought they were great, but Annabelle was crap. Um, the Nun was hilarious but it wasn't a good film at all um yeah so those kind of films and the blair witch project and paranormal activity i just thought were shit so yeah uh question five what horror movie oh, sorry question six what horror movies do you think are underrated the classics like 100 percent the classics um i think a lot of people are like oh they're not scary so they don't want to watch them or they don't think they're any good but i mean come on come on like they're so good and i really like films that are really subtle and build the tension slowly um i love the woman in black with danny radcliffe i think that's one of, that's one of my actual favorite films of all time i don't like watching it it's not a pleasant experience for me to be watching it but i really like it i think that's a really good film i love the mummy the 1999 one brendan fraser that's that's one of my ultimate favorites it's so good um the 2010 wolfman i think got a lot of like got a lot of stick and wasn't very well received but i thought that was really good and like a really good remake slash sort of reimagination uh reimagining sorry of the 1941 one so yeah but generally the the classics like the Unimo yeah, universal monsters and the hammer horror films are like 100 percent yeah also krampus which is a christmas horror film um and i don't really hear my people saying much about it but i love krampus like that's such a good film and my um if you see like from a couple of years ago like what i got for christmas haul my brother and sister-in-law got me a krampus bell from the weta workshop so that's cool and i really want the girl style krampus the creep shit they just came out with because i love krampus but yeah um question seven who's your favorite movie monster 
I mean, does that maybe give it away? Uh, just really, I, I don't think I could choose one though. Like, I love Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. I love Dracula. I love Nosferatu. I love the Wolfman. I love the Mummy. So, I'm just gonna say like, in general, the classic Universal monsters. I also love Krampus. I think Krampus is amazing. Um, yeah, so. I don't know how I can answer that question. Question eight, favorite scene or set piece from a movie? I think, basically, can I just say Sleepy Hollow here? Um, I love the Tree of the Dead from Sleepy Hollow. I think that's just, that whole bit of it is just really creepy. Um, and I love the bit um, where they go into um, the witch in the forest, like little house. That whole scene is like one of my favorite scenes in Sleepy Hollow. Um, I really like the scene in Bram Stoker's Dracula where Lucy goes into the like the maze and Mina follows her and she's being like assaulted by Dracula as a beast like that that scene and that set piece in general is amazing I love the scene from Bram Stoker's Dracula where Lucy comes down as the vampire that scene is so eerie and awesome um what else I'm thinking now like there are so many that I really like um the the scene oh yeah the bit in the 1931 Dracula where they're first like coming out of their coffins and like the hand appears and then the little bee has his own little coffin like that whole bit so oh and I really like the prequel to the 1999 mummy where they like talk about Imhotep and Anuk Suleiman and when Imhotep is getting Homdai and all that stuff so yeah many answers to that question I do apologize Question nine, if you had to stay in one horror movie mansion or location, where would that be and why? Some examples, Camp Crystal Lake, the Overlook Hotel, the Sawyer Family Home, etc. Um, I'm gonna say Talbot Manor or Talbot Hall from either the 1941 or the 2010 Wolfman film. And hear me out here, right? Once you got rid of the Wolfman, like you've got a lovely lovely old house like obviously in the 2010 film it eventually gets burnt down but in the 1941 one it doesn't get burnt down Talbot Hall is still there and it's in a lovely little village so yeah like I 100% and you know as I said once you get rid of the wolf man that's it there's no serial killer to worry about there's no like undead creature it's just the wolf man so yeah uh, question 10, are there any horror movies you can't watch or refuse to watch because they disgust you so much? So, now, I, gore is fine. Like, I, I'm absolutely fine with gore. I said earlier that I used to love zombie films. I used to be a real zombie film nut. I used to be a real zombie film, film sort of connoisseur. Um, so, gore is fine. Um, but, like, torture porn or splatter films that are just literally gore for gore's sake, like from the beginning to the end, or the kind of films that are literally made to be as disgusting as possible. I don't see the point in that. I don't enjoy that. That's not entertaining to me, so I won't watch them 100%. Like I've seen a few of the Saw films. I don't see the point, like 100% don't see the point. Those are films I think are also overrated, by the way, to, to kind of skip back a couple of questions. Um, so there are those ones. I also, and this is a personal thing and I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, you're making like a bunch of fuss over nothing, like it's not real. But if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a witch, witchy person, very spiritual. Um, and so I refuse to watch any films that have like a real demon, demonic force or anything in them because I don't want to play with that shit. Like I wouldn't play around with it in real life. I wouldn't ever do a Ouija board. I would never try and summon something. Like I wouldn't do that in real life. Um, and I like, I 100% believe that if you watch those films, like you can open yourself up to it. So I will not watch something like intentionally that is like 
a real demonic possession. Now, what what that I mean by that because it, it might sound a bit hypocritical because one of my favourite horror films is Drag Me to Hell. I think that's an amazing film. But the Lamia, which is the demon in that film, was kind of made up for that film. Like the the filmmakers kind of took aspects of different demonic traditions and entities and stuff and rolled them up into one thing. So it's not a real demon, but something like the exorcist where it's like legion or pazuzu or like the demon like an actual demon um from real mythology or, or something like i'm i'm not interested i don't want it um which surprised me that i like the film the witch so much because obviously like it's satan but it's not like a possession film does that make sense so yeah i don't like watching demonic possession films unless it's a made-up entity which isn't quite the same, it's not quite what the question's asking, but that's my answer. Question 11. Have you got any horror crushes? An actor or a character or whatever? You nasty. I'm nasty. So, hear me out. If Dracula, and I specifically mean like Gary Oldman or uh, Richard Roxburgh from Van Helsing, which I know isn't really a horror film, but I'm gonna count it here. Um, I, but to be honest, even like Bella Lugosi or um, Christopher Lee, like if they came up to me and were like, I'm gonna make you into a vampire, like to be my bride for all eternity. I'm not saying no. Like, I'm not saying no. So, Dracula. I really, something about the Headless Horseman in Sleepy Hollow really gets me going. Um, I used to have recurring dreams that I was married to Michael Myers, so him. And can I just take a minute here and say Arnold Vosloo as Imhotep? Like obviously once he is regenerated, but you, you wouldn't say no. And the man is willing to condemn himself for all eternity just to try and be with you. Like if that's not romantic, I don't know what is, quite frankly. And also Tom Hiddleston from Crimson Peak, but he's not really like a villain or anything and it's not really a horror film, but you know, Tom Hiddleston in Crimson Peak. Oh yeah. Um, 12 best horror movie to watch on Halloween. Halloween? Yes, and also Sophie, by the way, liking Halloween 3, you wrong me. You are wrong. I have very, very strong opinions on Halloween. Um, yeah, so Halloween, obviously. Uh, Trick or Treat is great. Um, but honestly, like, classic movies have... If there's, if there's a time for a classic horror movie marathon and it's not Halloween, then I don't know. I don't know what that time would be. And question 13. What is your guilty pleasure horror movie? I don't know because I really like horror comedies and they tend to be like the shit ones. So I don't know that I have a guilty pleasure. Um, okay, people like dump on it a lot, but the original House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price is fantastic. And a lot of people dump on the remake with um, Jeffrey Rush and Famke Janssen and Jeffrey Rush does an amazing like semi portrayal of Vincent Price in that film. The remake is actually really good. Like it's, it's. I'm not saying it's a, like a good film, but it's one of those so bad it's good films. And another film that I think is amazing, but I know a lot of people like think it's crap. Is Thirteen Ghosts? Like I should have mentioned this as an underrated horror film, but Thirteen Ghosts is amazing. Like I used to be obsessed with that film, and I used to be obsessed with like they really got into detail with that film, and they did like all of the backstories of the different ghosts and the different entities is just amazing. So yeah. So those are my answers to that Halloween slash horror movie tag that Sophie Mooseham tagged me to do. I would like to tag all of you to do this video. Uh, and yeah, Thank you very very much for watching do you have any opinions on what i've said do you have any opinions on my answers do let me know in the comments and i'll see you in my next video thank you very much for watching